Let's talk some soccer with James Sharman. James, simple question, maybe not a simple answer. How, how, <laughs> how did the USA win that game over Ghana? Because they are the jammiest team in the World Cup. They are so fortunate. Now, in fairness, they're a decent team, Ken. Mm -hmm. They start off really, really well in this game. 34 seconds and score a goal. They then sit back and they wait to counterattack Ghana, but the counters never came. So Ghana attacked wave after wave after wave out wide, crosses into the box, headers, kicks, all oh, they tried, nothing worked out for them until towards the end there. But this, this US team has this kind of resiliency. It's not the first time that they've done this. They'll, they'll stick around, they'll go back a goal, they'll, they'll tie it up. At the end, they'll find a way. And you get the team credit. They've got this inner belief, this confidence, this swagger, this jamminess, if you want, that they get it done. So, so good for them. Fortunate, but three massive points. I'm thinking of a man who has absolutely no swagger right now, and he's one of our colleagues. His name is Sid Sixero. <laughs> I had the fortune yes. of watching today's Portugal-Germany game with Sid Sixero. It was all Germany. Um, I don't really know what to say about Portugal. Maybe you do. So, but even the headbutt that yeah, Pepe did. Yeah. It wasn't even that good of a headbutt. It he wasn't. Still got nailed for I mean, it. it was hardly a Glasgow kiss, was it? It was, no. uh, it was like a more of a, a little glance, a little kiss almost. Now, listen, the book's out on Pepe. He, he's a good player, but if you, if you practice the dark arts against him, if you, if you cheat a little bit and get under his skin, he can go off. And that's what happened. But in this kind of game, you can't go off. It's the World Cup, you know? This guy's been in the World Cup before, European Championships, the Champions League final. He's a good player, but now and again, he sees the old purple mist descending and he will lose control. And it's a big loss of Portugal and obviously a massive loss today. Now, should we take anything away from Muller and the show that he put on today with his three goals against Portugal? Sure, sure. I mean, this kid, he's 24 years old. Mm -hmm. He's got eight World Cup goals so far in seven games. He's world class. Now, the record so far is Ronaldo, 15 goals in the World Cup. One behind him is Miraclosa, Muller's teammate. Muller will one day crush those records. He's that kind of player. And who knows, maybe in Brazil 2014. But yeah, what a performance. What a hat trick. And Germany, just machine like. And that's a cliche, mm -hmm. but they aren't machine like. And without doubt, if not the favorites now, one of the clear favorites for this championship. Yeah, so quickly, group of death, how are things going to shake down for Group G the rest of the way? Well, you know, I, I still think, I still believe that the top class teams are Germany and Portugal. But USA, Portugal coming up in a few days' time, it's just enormous now suddenly. It's so, so big, but I still think Portugal will rebound. They can't be that bad again, can they? So they'll get out there with Germany. The message from James Sharman, feel better, Sid Sixero. Yeah.